Here is the secondary coil I made to finish my Tesla coil. The winding is around 13.5 inches long. The tube it's winded on is around 16 inches long. The wire I used is 26 gauge wire. And I think I wrapped it around 800 times. Um, there you can see the two leads. There are quite a few overlaps and nicks and spaces in it, but I don't really think that's going to make the results that affected. Right now it's wrapped in tape because I haven't sprayed enamel on it, but I'm going to probably spray enamel on it tomorrow. So it will look better and possibly perform better. There it is standing up. Uh, that was a fail. Just put it on something a little smoother so it won't fall down. So there you can see it standing up. The diameter of the tube is around 2 inches. Sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. And here's my really lousy toroid I made. It's not really a toroid, it's just the top. It's basically uh, like a peanut and cashew container wrapped in aluminum foil. I plan on buying or making a better toroid soon. I'm going to test out the Tesla coil now. So the spark size I'm getting is around 1 inch, which isn't what I expected. I expected 6 inches, but probably when I tune it, it will be 